Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jonathan Gardner covering Sergey Lang's Basic Mathematics. And in this video, we're going to go over section 8.3, the equation of a circle. This is a really important section, I think, because we've laid down a foundation for geometry that is derived purely from real numbers. Um, we've defined R2 to be the set of all points in the plane. There's a, you know, you have an X and a Y coordinate that are both uh, real numbers. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use an equation to actually define shapes in the plane, in this case, a circle. So a circle, as you remember from geometry, a circle is defined as, as all the points that are a certain distance from a, the center. So let P be a given point and R be a number that's greater than zero. Okay. The circle of radius R centered at P by definition is a set of all points whose distance from P is equal to R. So the circle of radius r centered at p is all points that are uh, the distance between the point, let's say x, and the center is equal to r. Okay? And so uh, if we're going to define this, so let's define the distance. So the distance, according to our new formula, is a square root of let's say the let's say x is the point x comma y and p is the center point whatever that's going to be in this case let's say the center point is one comma four okay so we're going to have x minus one squared plus y minus four squared and that has to equal the distance r all right and so this this equation here would give you all the points in the circle. All right, and we could we could uh, if the radius is three, so this would be three for the radius. So let's say r is three. Now we could square both sides, and we get x minus one squared plus y minus four squared is equal to nine, right? Both of these could be the equations of the circle. Now I'm going to remind you again that if we have x squared is equal to nine, then x could be equal to plus or minus three. But if we have x is equal to the square root of 9, then x must equal 3, right? The square root sign says only take the positive sign. Now, in this case, if you start with 9, well, 9 is positive, obviously, and then you, you take the square root of both sides, you could have this could be equal to plus 3 or minus 3. But you'll never get the sum of two positive numbers equaling a negative. So you can just drop the negative side. So, if, if, so we take the square root of both sides, we're going to get um, the square root of x minus one squared plus y minus four squared, and this could be positive or negative, is equal to three, right? And the obviously if this is negative, you're not gonna get three, so you only take the positive side. So this, this equation works in both forms, so both are okay. Okay, they're both okay, they both work. All right, let's take an example here. So we're gonna write an equation, and the equation looks like this. It says x minus two squared plus y plus 5 squared is equal to 16. Okay. Now, based on what we've already learned, we should be able to figure out what, what kind of what shape these points will fit. What points will solve this equation will give you a shape. And the shape is, well, that's the square of the radius. So the radius is equal to 4, right? These are the x, y coordinates. And the, the center of the circle is going to be minus 2 comma 5 right and that's what gives you that okay so i can take a piece of paper here and i can draw the equation uh let's uh, so let's go five six so the center of the circle is at minus two comma five right there and then if we take the radius to be four units so i'm going to take my compass here and i'm going to adjust this until this is four units long. And that's about four units right there. So I'm going to draw a circle starting at here. And this is, let's get the paper flat. That's the circle that that equation describes. So you can probably readily identify that some of the points are down. This point is going to be a solution, minus two comma one. And over here, if we move four to the right, it's going to be 5, 2, or 2, 5, I mean. 
is also going to be in the circle. So we have minus 1, comma, 1. Okay, so let's just really quickly plug those numbers in and let's see if that works. So 2, comma, 5. So we plug in x equals 2. So we have 2 minus 2 squared plus 5 plus 5 squared. Oh, this isn't working out the way I expected, is it? The center is 2. Oh, I'm sorry. It's going to be plus 2 and minus 5 is a center. Okay, so this is going to work out. It, because you're going to subtract the x coordinate and subtract the y coordinate. So I made a mistake all you rookies are going to make. This is not the center of the circle. The center of the circle is actually over here 2, comma, minus 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, oh, 4, 5. So it's going to be down here. So 2, comma, minus 5. All right, and then let's draw a circle. This time centered on that point, and we'll find solutions. Um, I didn't quite measure this out quite. Quite right. There we go. That's four. All right. Okay, let's go over here. All right, there we go. There is a circle. And so we expect this point up here. So this would be 2 comma minus 1. This point down here, that's going to be uh, 2 comma minus 9. We expect this point over here, that's going to be 6 comma minus 5. I'm just adding 4 in each direction. And this point over here, that's minus 2 comma minus 5. These should all be solutions to this equation. Let's try some of them out. So this one is not going to be a solution. So we have, uh, let's take this one, minus 2, minus 2 squared plus minus 5 plus 5 squared equals 16. That's going to be 0. This is 2 minus 2 squared. Minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 squared. It's going to be 16. So that's that works. Let's try this point over here. So we have 6 minus 2 squared plus minus 5 plus 5 squared equals 16. Again, that's going to be 0. 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 squared is indeed 16. And then we have, let's move this over to this side now. We're going to have um, 2 minus 2 squared plus minus 1 plus 5 squared is supposed to be equal 16. Well, that's 0. 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 squared is indeed 16. And then we have 2 minus 2. I'm sorry, I'm drawing commas. I'm not supposed to. Plus minus 1 minus 9 plus 5 squared is supposed to equal 16. That again is 0. Minus 9 plus 5, that's minus 4 squared is indeed 16. So those are solutions indeed of the circle. Indeed, any point on this on this on this circle is a solution to this equation. Um, if you want to play around with that, you can. So that is how that works. Remember that these are inverted, so you have to take the minus of those. Okay? Don't do the mistake that I made there. Okay, turning on to the next part. Okay, let's look at another equation. This equation is x plus 2 squared plus x plus 3 squared equals 7. Okay, they either have a typo in this book, they do have a typo in this book. They meant to write y plus 3 squared. And the center of this circle, the, the center is minus 2 and minus 3, and the radius is a square root of 7. Okay, it's okay to have non-integer radiuses. Nobody is going to sue you. All right, and uh, the president's not going to call you in to account, so it's okay. All right, another example. This one says x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Let me make sure I didn't skip anything. So the center of this circle, well, this is the same as x plus 0 squared plus y plus 0 squared is equal to 1. So the center of this is 0 comma 0, and the radius is a square root of 1, which is just 1. So this is what we call the unit circle. Okay? And it has a very, a very, you know, it's, it's, it defines 1, right? It has the area of pi, it has the radius of of 2 pi, or the circumference of 2 pi, uh, radius of 1. So it's, it's a very you know, important circle. Indeed, any time we have x squared plus y squared, we know that the, the center point is going to be p equals 0. So if we had x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, that's the circle of radius r at the center point of 0 comma 0. Okay? And so in general, the equation for a circle is given as follows. Let me use a, another piece of paper to wrap it up. 
So the general equation is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. This is the equation you should memorize. This is the equation you get familiar. The center of the circle is at a comma b. Remember, you have to flip the signs. And the radius is r. And that defines all points that satisfy this equation, defines a circle. And that's all you really need to know. Now let's go over the exercises here really quick. So the first group of exercises, problems one through six, is to take the two point, the point and the radius and write down an equation. That should be relatively straightforward. And the next one, you take the equation and you write down the point and the radius. That should be relatively straightforward. And in the next one, it's a little bit more complicated. You're going to have to use complete the square. What is complete the square? So let's take an example. I'm going to do the first problem with you. So this is problem 13 x squared plus x, no, plus 2x plus y squared is equal to 5. So what does complete the square mean? So let's look at this x squared plus 2x. So if we had x squared plus 2x plus, let's see, let's take a 1, okay? Then we know that we can factorize that into x plus 1 squared, right? Because x squared plus 1, x plus 1 squared, the x squared terms come out. The one is the, that term squared, and then we have the cross term, so that's x times that twice. So you just take one half of this term, you drop the x, and then that's the term. You do square that, and that's the term over there. That's completing the square. The thing is, though, is we don't have a one over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this into x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 1. So really, we're just adding 0. You can add 0 to anything. It doesn't change anything. Equals 5. And then we look at this part, and we change that to x squared plus 1, x squared, x plus 1 squared, and then we have the y squared, and this 1, let's bring over to the other side, so we have a 6. Okay, so that's how you complete the square. So from here, you should be able to solve this equation. So 13 is very straightforward. Let's see if they do. Yeah, they do on number 18. So let's, do, let's do an 18 really quick. Let's look at that and how to analyze that and solve it. You're going to have x squared plus x plus y squared minus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0. Remember, we want to get it into this form up here. Well, these two terms, you can complete the square there, and those two terms, you can complete the square there, right? And then we'll have x plus something squared and y, I think, minus something squared. Then we're going to have all these leftover terms that we had to use to complete the square, and we can just move those to the other side, and that'll be the radius. Okay, so that, I'm not going to give, completely give away the problem, but that's basically the, the style of solving that one. Number 19, 20, and 21 have to do with 3 space. That should not be too hard. I will not interrupt your fun there. Enjoy. And that's basically it for section 8.3. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care and bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is part of a series on Sergey Lang's Basic Mathematics. You can catch the playlist over here, and you can find out how to support my channel over here. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.